Good morning. I wanted to do a real quick follow-up video about my bee sting because I, there was a couple things I didn't mention and that was the fact that I have alpha gals which is um, it's where you develop allergies to certain proteins in meat that you eat after a tick bite. So a tick bite causes the alpha gals and I can't eat beef. And the reason this is important as far as the bee sting is because it also, the bee sting developed at the same time, the bee sting allergy developed at the same time as the alpha gals. So I used to could get stung by yellow jackets and it would do what it did this time. You know, it swells up really big, it's painful, and I usually break out in hives and stuff, but that's as far as it goes. It never would send me into anaphylaxis. You know, I've always had a hypersensitivity to yellow jackets, but never, you know, direct full-blown anaphylaxis, except after I got the alpha gals. And it sent me to the emergency room twice with um, in anaphylaxis. So what I'm bringing it up for is because for the last, I don't know, about seven or eight years. So number one, I haven't been stung in like maybe seven or eight years. I don't, it's been a long time. And ever since I've had the alpha gals and I know I'm highly allergic to everything, not only do I carry EpiPen and, and, um, Benadryl everywhere, but I've been working on my immunity and with herbals that help strengthen my immune response to things like the beef allergy or yellow jacket stings. And so I can't get it out of my mind because I freaking survived it. And I'm going to account my success not on my quick actions or anything, not the fact that it stung me through a sock, but for the fact that I think I have been correcting my autoimmune disease. And thank God, thank God, because that was so scary yesterday and I was all alone. <laughs> And it's like got me rethinking a lot of stuff now. I'm gonna go buy me some mothballs, which is not gonna help with yellow jackets per se, but you know, I'm also very afraid of um, the rattlesnakes out in the woods. So I think, and I was off trail yesterday, and if I would have stayed on the trail, it wouldn't have stopped me from getting stung because the beast stung me when I was like literally standing over in the creek on rocks. So it just must have been hovering around there. I don't know. Anyway, I really wanted to mention the fact that I've been working on my immunity with herbs, different herbal things. I could go all into it, but I don't know. I do a lot of mushrooms. So I take reishi, shiitake, and mataki uh, and it's a fermented mushroom complex with those three mushrooms in it and that I specifically do for my immunity and I also take chlorella which is um, it's just a single celled uh, green plant that's super good for your immune system. I also take chlorophyll, which you think was, you know, chlorophyll, really? Yes, I do. And that is for strengthening my immunity. And those three things specifically is what I've done to strengthen my immunity. And I wanted to share that because I, I'm, I'm almost positive it's the fact that I have a better immune system now is the reason that I'm alive today, for real. So I wanted to share that and say thank God. <laughs> Peace.